Shalom, Vracha. Many people live with a terrible secret. That deep down inside, they feel ugly and inadequate. In the private conversations I have with people, this often comes out and very often we're able to see that this self-hatred becomes the reason that they end up taking their frustrations of self out on those people closest to them, especially their partners. It's not hard to see why. We live in a time subsumed with media. Through the pages of every magazine are perfectly airbrushed forms. As we scroll down through social media, it's not hard to feel that other people's lives are more interesting, more exciting than our own. All of this very often is made worse by the fact that we continue cycles of self-hatred that we've picked up in early childhood. Feelings of not being good enough in the eyes of a parent, not being good enough in the eyes of our peers. It's very easy to not feel big enough, skinny enough, strong enough, smart enough, rich enough, beautiful enough. Where does it end and what can we do to change it? Arguably, we have to become experts in changing the tide. We have to be able to reach a place where we become a force for positivity in other people's lives, in the lives of other people around us. Very often, our partners don't know that they're beautiful. Very often, our children don't know that we're proud of them. Very often, our parents don't know that we look up to them and we're thankful for the amount of work that they've put into our lives. It's time to be a force for good in the lives of others and to realize that many people are carrying around these feelings of inadequacy, which follow them everywhere. Sometimes these feelings become so difficult that they end up taking out their self-hatred on others. We have to become experts in changing the tide, in forming ways to help others see the best aspects of themselves and helping them to change the areas that need changing in a positive and gentle way. I hope that we're all able to make the changes in our lives to be better people today than we were yesterday. And I hope that all of us are able to help our partners, our children, our parents, our teachers, society in general, to feel better about the fact that they are created, Selim Elohim. They're a divine image. What does that mean practically? It means that everybody has an incredible, unique story. Everybody has incredible skills. Everybody has something positive that they can give back to this planet that can be celebrated in the wider human experience. There's no need for people to feel negative about themselves for the rest of their lives anymore. What we have to do is to find that Nakuda Tova, to find that point of goodness that every single person has and to help them celebrate it. As soon as we accept that we ourselves are actually very beautiful and the people around us as well are very beautiful, very capable, and really, it's great to have them here. If we can do that, we stand a chance of turning the tide and changing this terrible sense of inadequacy and self-hatred that so many people have developed into a sense of inspiration and a desire to go beyond their limitations, to do better and achieve things they never thought they could. God bless and have a great day.